Hi, my name is Rucha Devdhar and I am a junior software engineer at MariaDB Corporation. Today, I am going to be speaking about returning clause in MariaDB. But what is returning clause? Returning clause is used to return the data for inserted, modified or deleted rows or alternatively the select expression for these DML statements. Currently, insert, replace and delete statements support the returning clause. Delete is supported starting from MariaDB Server 10.0 while insert and replace returning is supported starting from MariaDB Server 10.5. So what expressions can we use with returning clause? Any SQL expressions that can be calculated can be used. This includes column names, virtual columns, alias, expressions which use various operators like bitwise operator, arithmetic operator, logical operator. You can also use functions, say for example, control flow functions, string functions and also stored functions. Moreover, you can also use subqueries and prepare statement with this. So let's see why do we need the returning clause. Returning retrieves the modified, inserted and deleted rows and without this, there would be a need to run a separate select query. This saves a round trip. Also, a number of queries running can be important for the performance of your applications. So, you are running less number of queries and getting the same job done. Sometimes, you may want to trigger actions in your application based on what gets inserted, deleted or modified. Along with this, there can be a scenario where the data is generated and is not explicitly inserted into the table. For example, in case of auto increment and default values, in such situations, you may want to retrieve data to trigger stuff on your application based on what data gets generated. You can use insert ignore to find out what data got inserted into the table. You can use insert on duplicate key update to find out what got updated when you inserted data into the table and trigger actions in your application based on that. So let's find out how do we use it by taking some examples. So here we have a customer's table. Suppose there is a bank and they want to find out if their new customers are eligible for loan based on their credit scores. So for this customer table we have auto increment and default values, the default field values along with other fields which are for which data is auto generated. So now when we use the insert statement and we want to find out if the customer is eligible for loan at the time of inserting the data, then we can use returning clause. And here I've used customer ID and another select statement as select expression for the returning clause. So this is the output. We get customer ID and decision as columns for the output. Similarly, here is another example where I have only used column names for select expression in the returning clause. Similarly, you can also use returning clause with replace statement for conditional insert as shown in the example. You can also use returning clause with delete statement. Say for example, if you want to delete all the records of customers whose credit score is less than 700 and you want to move them to another table, then in that case you can use delete with returning clause. So here is an example for that. Here I've used customer ID and another select statement as select expression for the returning clause and the output is as shown. And that brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you. I hope you liked it.